challenge you'll meet when creating your page is defining how many containers you need for your layout. Since containers are flexible, you have multiple ways to create your layout. Here's what you'll want to consider. The most important thing to remember is that your layout is the foundation for your design. So the first point to consider is, can this layout help me create my design? You have endless possibilities for creating a layout that supports your design. So be sure you don't end up overthinking your design plan. As long as your layout allows you to create a design that looks good on both desktop and mobile devices, your layout is good and you can begin optimizing it from this point. When creating your layout, you'll need to remember that each container can have its own design. This feature allows you to create beautiful, robust, and multi-dimensional designs with ease. Each container can have its own background, border, overlay, and motion effects. Any area with a specific design should be a separate container. You can also order the widgets inside a container in different directions and align them in different ways. Having said that, creating two different directions or alignments in one container is complicated. A better approach would be to group widgets with the same direction or alignment together. You want to group widgets with different directions in different containers. Containers have some useful functions. And the first thing you'll need to consider is responsiveness. This is the way your site adjusts itself to different screen sizes. The editor orders the elements automatically, following a simple logic. Start at the top of the page. The content inside a container will be displayed according to its direction. Whenever the editor displays the content of a container, you have to order all the content before moving on to the next container. This order will be maintained across all screen sizes and the editor will display the content accordingly. When you create your layout, consider how you want your page to look on different screen sizes. For example, if you want to adjust the order of a group of elements on mobile, these elements should be in one container. You can do this in responsive mode where you can reorder elements for each screen size. Another important thing to keep in mind is that you can reuse containers as recurring templates across your site. If you have a set of widgets you want to reuse across your site, you should nest them inside one container. You can save each container as a template and then upload the container as a template from your library to any part of your site. Using containers as recurring templates will help speed up the site creation process. As a rule, you should aim to use as few containers as possible. Doing so will help improve your site's performance and it will help to reduce screen clutter while you're creating your page. For more information on how to create a layout using containers, head over to the Help Center.